Hi everyone, so it's today I'm going to show you guys my products I've used up uh, video. Um, so I collected a few things in my, um, as you guys know, I have like an Evolution Fresh bag that I fill up. Um, I didn't wait this time to wait to, to have the bag before the entire way. I only had it like halfway or three quarters of the way. So I decided to share it because if I don't do it, if, I find that my videos, my products I've used up video, they're like really long, so I don't want them to be as long. So let's go on with the um, products I've used up. I've split them up into... Um, Skincare, makeup, and also hair products. So I'll start off with the skincare. Um, first product is my Amir Argan Oil Face Moisturizer. Um, I got this from, I believe it was Winners or Marshalls. I can't remember what it was. I want to say like Winners. Um, I got this as a face moisturizer and also like for um, dry spots all over my body, depending on what it is. I used, I used to keep this moisturizer right by my bed whenever... Um, I'm going to bed or whatever, I put like the moisturizer before I go to bed. And I actually really enjoy this. It has, has a really nice scent to it. Um, it doesn't smell like the argan oil scent, but it has like a nice like um, tropical scent to it. It almost smells like coconuts a little bit. But I really enjoyed this. Um, it's side it says, Argan oil and acai berry extracts bring out your skin's glowing beauty with fatty acids and antioxidants, skin firming and wrinkle reducing proteins, and vitamin E renew your skin to keep it looking healthy and bright. I really enjoyed this. I haven't seen this at my Marshalls or Winners recently, so I don't know where to get this product. I'm pretty sure if I Google it, I'll probably find it online, but I really did enjoy this product. Uh, next is my sample size of my Lancome Advanced Genifique. I have talked about this before. Um, uh, I did have the full size of Advanced Genifique. I only liked how the applicator was. I remember like when you twist the applicator, it sucks up the serum inside the syringe for you. Um, Unlike the regular Genifique, like the old model, they didn't do that. Uh, I didn't enjoy this product. I liked it. It kept my skin feeling smooth, moisturized, um, wrinkle-free. I haven't had like any like major wrinkles in my skin. But I have enjoyed it, and I probably won't be buying the full-size Advanced Genifique because, as you guys know, I love my Paula's Choice um, Antioxidant Concentrate Serum that I'm willing to spend less money on this stuff as compared to my Paula's Choice. And speaking of polystyrene, I have used up another one of my serums. I go to this pretty fast because um, I use it both morning and night. And this is a one ounce sample where most serums come in one ounce usually. Um, this is the Lancome Genifique one. This one is only 8 milliliters or 0.27 fluid ounces. So it's like hardly anything. It's just basically a quarter of a fluid ounce. But I really did enjoy the sample. So yeah, I did finish up my Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum. And I believe this serum is around like $30, I want to say, um, American. But I really do enjoy it. It's for normal dry to very dry skin. I think every single fa favorites video or like products I've used up, you always see this in there because I used it so much and I keep repurchasing it because I love it. It works for my skin and when I don't use it, my skin reacts up. And I can tell you that right now because my skin is reacting up right now because I have finished this serum, but I've been using up samples of different serums. So my skin is like, oh my god, it's just not used to having new product that like... When I go back to this, my skin's going to be back to normal again, but I want to use up those product samples, so there's that. Um, last, skin pro pro bleh. last skincare product is my Cetaphil Restore Derm. It's eczema moisturizing lotion. Um, I haven't bought another one of this lotion in a bit, but I do plan to repurchase it because I put this in the areas where I have eczema um, on my skin after I shower. Um, I'm, for some reason, I'm not one to put lotion on my skin, not not on the days I don't shower, only when I feel like I need to. I don't know, I'm just like really weird like that. I guess I don't like moisturizing every day because I don't like that feeling of like having really oily skin. I just, I'm used to like dryness, I guess. I don't know. Uh, next product is um, makeup products and the first product is a L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. It's a makeup extender setting spray. This is basically a drugstore setting spray and I have noticed a lot more YouTubers using this product. And I do, I do recommend this product because if you don't want to spend money on high-end makeup setting sprays like at Sephora or whatever they sell um, setting sprays, um, this is an affordable option. I believe I got this for around $12 to $14 at Walmart. I can't remember what it was, like exact price, but it was over $10 for sure. But um, it was less than $15, depending on where you get it. Because I know Shoppers Drug Mart like, really loves to hike up their prices because, you know, it's Shoppers. But... Um, this mist, I 
as you guys know, I love the Caudalie uh, Beauty Elixir that I'm so used to that fine mist. So when I switched to this one, I was shocked at how like, it wasn't like chunky, but it was like a lot, it's not that fine of a mist. I want to say it's between like medium to fine mist on your face. It's not like heavy droplets on your face, but it's like medium to fine mist. And I used up this whole entire product and it comes with 3.4 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters. And I do like it. So in the back here it says, um, the texture is micro fine. I don't believe that's micro fine. Action, it uh, sets your makeup. And use is post makeup. So you're supposed to use this after you apply all your makeup. But for me, I apply this um, right after I finish applying my face products. And then I put my eyeshadow and then um, mascara and then lipstick. I don't know why, but I just like s setting my makeup mid makeup instead of putting it at the very end. That's just me though. I don't know why. I'm really weird. I do guys still love me though. Um, next makeup or I guess beauty product is my Victoria's Secret Bombshell. This is, I believe, it's a 25, 0.25 fluid ounces or 7.5 milliliter bottle. So it's like the ones that you get in the holiday sets or um, like the little ornaments you can get at the cashier. But I love this perfume. I haven't I haven't worn this perfume in such a long time, but it's one of their best-selling perfumes because people love that scent. I do have a full-size bottle of it, but I keep this small one in my purse because um, you never know when you might need a little perfume in your um, purse. One, because you might be smelling sometime or someone else smells and you want to spray the air around you to make it smell good. I also, um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I have a severe peanut and nut allergy. So whenever I'm on public transit, there might be someone who in close proximity of me might be eating peanuts or nuts and I can't smell that smell because if I do smell it then my throat starts closing up so what I would do is I spray like a little bit like on my wrist or whatever and just continue smelling that just to distract my nostrils or like my sense of smell from like possibly dying and not being able to breathe um, sometimes I would ask the person to either like put away the food because they know I have a, because I let them know I have an allergy that um, they have to put their food away. Some of them are nice stuff to put away, but I feel if I get the vibe that they would be like hesitant to put it away, I just like spray this on my um, wrist and just smell my wrist. But yeah, there's that. Uh, next is a liquid eyeliner. It's from Makeup Forever and it's called the Graphic Liner. It's a vinyl pen eyeliner. Um, I got this in the... What is it called? I got this in um, the Makeup Forever and Fifty Shades of Grey eye and eye and lip set, and this graphic liner came with it. And I love that it's a felt tip liner here. You guys can see it's really fine. I like it. It's uh, dark, and I I don't know. There's something about it that I really enjoyed, and I did repurchase this, so I have another one back there where my makeup is. And yeah, I. I like it, but I feel like it could be a lot more black, and it's it's also one of those liners where um, it's not that easy to remove. You have to like rub your eye a little bit just to get it off, and if you want to, you can use the oil-based makeup remover as well. Uh, next is the mascara. Um, as you guys know, I love the L'Oreal mascaras. This one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes in the waterproof formula in the color 630 Blackest Black. Uh, so this is what the mascara looks like. It's in a gold tube. And you, can, you know it's a waterproof version because like this label right here is blue. So let me show you the brush. The brush is a silicone brush and I love it because it has many little tiny, um, excuse me, bristles in it and I really enjoy it. I wish the tip of it here had a lot like longer fibers so you can actually get into the little lashes. But I really enjoyed it. It actually made my lashes look really full. It holds my curve really well because it is waterproof. And Waterfoot mas Mascara has more wax in it, which makes you hold the curl a lot better. Um, so it says it's claimed no clumps, clean sweep, wiping system, multiplying maximum volumizing. And yeah, I really enjoy this mascara. I would repurchase again, and I was going through my box of mascaras, and I noticed I need to buy more waterproof mascaras. I only have like ones that are non-waterproof, and I do prefer waterproof mascaras from time to time. I always have like two mascaras open. One that's non-waterproof and one that's waterproof. And the reason why is because if I know that day that it's going to be windy outside or if it's going to, um, if I know I'm going to cry or there's a possibility of me crying, then I wear it because I don't want my makeup to be messed up even when I'm like crying or when the weather looks like a piece of crap. <laughs> uh, next, um, mas <laughs> next, next mascara. Next beauty product is my Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. 
I got this as part of um, Sephora set with a whole bunch of different mascaras. This I didn't buy this one alone. Um, I got this as a gift. So um, I'm not a fan of this mascara. I thought I would be because I love Smashbox products. Like I never really had a problem with their products. But after using this one, I don't know. It, it the brush is very big. It's a plastic bristle brush. It's huge. Like look at it compared to like my face and my eye um, it's big but it only gives you like natural looking lashes so if you're are looking for a natural look to your lashes then this is the mascara for you I didn't think it did anything for me besides like separate my lashes I guess but like it didn't really do anything for me it did, wasn't outstanding it wasn't amazing so I wouldn't recommend it unless you like the natural look and this is in the color jet black Okay, last are some hair products, and it's funny because all of them are different dry shampoos. So the first dry shampoo is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in the Floral and Fruity Blush. I got this dry shampoo like a long time ago, and I do like Batiste products, but um, I find them pricey compared to like Dove Dry Shampoo, which is the one that I like love the most. And I like love it so much. It All dry shampoos I find work the same. It just really depends on... Um, the texture of your hair and how much of the product you're actually putting in your hair and how you're actually like dealing with it. Um, I never had a problem with any of these except one of them um, and they're all interchangeable to be honest with you. Uh, the next dry shampoo is the Herbal Essences Dry Shampoo Body Envy Instant Clean and Lightweight Fresh Feel. It's a clean feel for your first day of hair I guess. Uplifting Citrus Scent. I did like this one. Um, it was I like how the bottle is really big because this one's a travel size version as you guys can tell. But this one is a really big bottle. I got it from Walmart. I liked it but it wasn't like outstanding. It's just like the smell of it that makes this the dry shampoo stand out. But I don't really care to have a scent in my hair because I'm not having people smell my hair. Even though some people like to do that but I don't know. It was okay. Uh, the last dry shampoo, I got this at the MAC warehouse sale. I believe it was last year. and. Or the year before I can't remember but this is a bumble and bumble white hair powder um, it's a dry cleansing matte finish instant fullness and it looks like basically a dry shampoo so um, these sprays absorb oil to refresh without washing extend the life of a blow dry and add volume or grip for non-slip updos shake well hold 10 to 10 to 12 inches from head and mist through layers with light even strokes let dry and shake out with excess or brush through so, um, I liked this one, however, I felt it was too white on my, um, hair. It probably would work better if you had blonde hair, or platinum blonde hair, like any type of, like, bleach blonde hair. I find this would work better. And I believe Bumble and Bumble, um, might have one for people who have darker hair, so instead of, like, spraying, it's spraying, like, white, it would spray, like, black tint in your hair. That's, like, a dry shampoo. But I like this, but it was just not for me. If I was... If I had colored hair that was like not black, like right now these are like my natural roots, I would enjoy this better, but I don't, so it didn't really work too well on my hair. And it didn't last very long, to be honest with you. Like, I I don't think I sprayed too much of this, but I think I only got four to five uses out of this, and I find that like complete ripoff, because if I were to pay full price for this product, and this is a 4.4 ounce or 125 gram product, that's not worth it to me because it's so expensive but not a lot of uses so what's the point? I'd rather have something that's like inexpensive and lasts me a really long time, you know? But yeah, um, that is all my um, products I've used up video for the month of February, I guess, because now we're on February 3rd. Um, sorry if I feel like I'm acting different in this video. I don't know. I feel like my head's in the clouds. Like, I feel like I'm not myself. But, um, I want to film this video for you guys because I need to post something. I need to post something. And yeah, I had to share this with you guys because if I don't wait now, the next video of this process I've used up will be way too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.